off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Jason's awake now. He got me some oatmeal with raisins and some berries. Thank you, baby. He's getting me ice now. But I feel pretty good this morning. Got to change my pajamas, which felt good, and my underwear. That felt really good. Um, <clears throat> I'm hungry. I was able to eat um, like a breakfast bar, I don't know, about an hour hour and a half ago with my medicine um, but the other girls are still asleep and Jason's gonna go to work for a little while so he wanted to make sure I had a good meal before I need something for lunch which they can get me honestly I'm tempted to like <coughs> order takeout or something or have Kaylee go get something for lunch but um, I think we'll, we'll be fine but hmm it tastes good. So I slept last night. Pretty good. Better than the first night. I slept from probably honestly like realistically. No, I think it was like 10, 10, 30. Actually, I think I did better last night going to sleep. Took melatonin. Fell asleep pretty quick. I don't remember falling asleep. I don't remember being awake for a long time without being able to fall asleep. And then woke up with a start with my 2 a.m. alarm for Tylenol, which was a good thing, I guess, because I was sleeping solidly, which was good. shocking. Yeah, it was good. Um, <clears throat> and then I woke up. Oh, there's a battery. I need a new battery before you go. Where's that? Downstairs in the drawer. And I'll give you this one to replace and put it on the charger. Um, and then I slept in until um, probably 5.30. And then fell back to sleep until about 6.30 and then I kind of just struggled. I was really low in the bed and it was really like a lot of pressure on my shoulders and stuff and it was not comfortable on my back. So I just <clears throat> waited until Jason woke up at 7 and asked him to help me. And that's when I kind of changed my clothes and got all situated and back in bed. So I'm doing pretty good this morning. I'm gonna eat breakfast, stay here in bed for a little bit, and then move to the couch. And when one of the kids wakes up, I might get them to get me my computer. Because um, the couch felt really good yesterday, so. All right, change the battery and say goodbye to this guy. Go to work. I gotta go to work. I forget, it's not Saturday. It's gonna be a it's rush okay. hour. I know, it's fine. Thank you for helping me. Yeah, no, you're doing good. Guess what I'm doing right now. Oh, it feels so good to be doing like a functional thing <laughs> right now. I've got um, my computer loading all of my footage. Um, I've got a show on. I'm watching TV here while I wait for the iMovie to load. <clears throat> it got unplugged when Kate, Chelsea brought it up here. This little thing is the death of me, but I'm getting all set up here. I've got my basket moved to my side over here. Um, I was and still confused, but was confused about my post-op appointment because everyone kept telling me as we were leaving after surgery that it was Friday at 2, Friday at 2, we'll see you Friday at 2, don't do anything, don't change any of the gauze, don't take a bra off, don't take a shower, don't do anything until Friday at 2 when you come in. And so I just, I called, well, I, I went and got my, like, paperwork, um, and I noticed that the appointment is for next Friday at 2. And I thought, there's no way I'm not going to change 
like the gauze and take a shower until next Friday. That's like a whole nother week and a day away. And I was so, I'm, I'm still kind of confused because, you know, I, and, and I, I called the office and I talked to the medical assistant and I was like, they told me not to change any of the gauze or take a shower until I come into my appointment. And then, and I'm assuming that's when my drains are going to come out, which per the instructions, they'll take the drains out when they're draining less than 30 mLs, which yesterday we only drained um, 35, so today should be less. Um, well, that's 35 total. I'm only draining 20 and 15. Um, but she was like, yeah, we're not taking the drains out till next Friday, and you can change the gauze on the outside and take a shower, and I was like, I don't understand because my instructions, that literally my instructions, do not do anything with the dressing. Do not take a shower until your appointment, until your post-op. And so I'm kind of confused and they were like, well, why don't we just, we have an opening tomorrow at 1. Why don't you just come in? And I was like, that'd be fantastic because I'd really like to understand because I'm getting, I mean, I'm getting two different versions of what I should be doing right now. And, uh. I mean, I'm not going to take the drains out before they're ready, but I just, I can't imagine that I'd have to go another week when they're barely even draining anything. Also, I guess we were supposed to unpin them from my chest <laughs> and let them hang when I'm sitting here. In bed, I'm, I probably wouldn't have been good because I was just not having a good time being in bed the first and second day, but sitting here on my um, couch, I think it's good. So I unclipped it. It's right there. There's nothing in it. So that's why I feel like I can share you, share it with you. <coughs> anyway, I was a little frustrated, um, but I'm glad I have an appointment tomorrow still. Um, Jason is off tomorrow, so he's he's planning on taking me. It's just, now it just feels like they're, okay, well, I guess we can see if, you can, if you're concerned. And I'm like, your instructions aren't matching up with your, what you're telling me. And that's concerning me. <laughs> So I would feel better if I go in and let him change the dressings, let him open everything up. The sutures stick, like the, what did they call them? The, what did she call them? The stereo strips are staying in place. Those don't get taken off, which is fine. Okay. So I'm just going to sit here and watch a show while I wait for that to turn on. I'm gonna kind of sit back and relax for a second because I've been I've been doing a lot of just I'm just sitting here, but I've been doing a lot of stuff and a lot of arm movements, very close to my body arm movements, but it's still a lot. And I'm gonna let them rest for a second, rest on my belly for a second. But I'm I'm doing good. I'm doing good, and I've got all of my little snacks here. Jason brought those little chocolate ones yesterday from Costco and I've got my water and uh, I think I have to take a pill here I thought my alarm's going to go off any second um, but I'm doing pretty good and I've got all of my girls home today they're all home um, Kaylee and Abby don't have to go anywhere until late afternoon and Jason's going to try and be coming home at the same time so I think we'll be fine Chelsea has been a big help this morning helping me get all of this stuff brought up to me. <clears throat> so I trust that she can hang out with me for an hour before Jason gets home. And I still have not taken the Oxy. And I'm almost positive that the nerve block should be wearing off by now. So um, I'm very glad because I'm three days post-surgery as of right now. So that's, yep, there's my timer. I'm gonna go take my medicine. Okay, I have officially edited one whole surgical video for you guys. It is not my best work, but it is a complete video. Start to finish of my day having surgery. It's honestly as real as it's going to get. <laughs> um, but I did feel good enough to kind of sit there and edit. I, I did realize my arms were stretched a little too much. Um, Chelsea made me lunch, peanut butter sandwich, cottage cheese, and some berries. But I have discovered a new place to sit. And I might do my editing 
here instead. Yesterday, we didn't show you, but my inability to walk day one of surgery because of my back pain, they brought this chair upstairs oh, for me to sit on and it's on wheels. So then they wheeled me from the stairs here into my bedroom up to my bed, like a little wheelchair. And uh, it was a lifesaver that day. <clears throat> but it's still up here and it's the perfect height with my makeup table. And I'm not doing my makeup right now. I was just Marco Poloing my sister because it was the perfect height for that. And I can put my arm here. So the chair is padded, so it feels good on my back, my lower tailbone, to be sitting up. I kind of dread getting into the bed now. So I'm, I'm saving being in bed for naps or bedtime and I'm not tired today. So, I mean, I might take a nap. I don't know, we'll just see. That's pulling on one of my stitches or something. I don't have any pain still. Oxy is not on the table quite yet. Um, I might edit here later this afternoon. I'll edit day two. Um, but Kaylee and Abby are leaving for work. Jason is not going to be able to be home early to get Abby from work when she's done. So his dad is going to pick her up. I think he barely understands that I'm having this surgery done. We told him, but I don't know that he was really conscious of the magnitude of the surgery, I guess. And I don't really feel like having that conversation with my father-in-law. So I don't really know if he understands why he's helping pick up Abby today. How you doing, boo? This one slept in until 1.30. Okay. And we had to wake you up. Maybe no, you... I was already awake, but she's being dramatic and saying I wasn't awake. Well, you had woken up already. Yeah. yeah. How about you go take a shower? <laughs> you want to show him the back? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, the back. Why don't you get that brush right there? No, don't, don't just put it in a ponytail. Yeah, don't just do that. Um, did I tell them what the nurse said to me or did I just tell you? You never told me anything about the nurse. Well, Jason tried to put my hair in a ponytail the first day. Oh yeah, you too. Did I tell you, you or did I tell them? I was them. telling them, yeah. He still can't do it. And I don't understand after four girls how he still doesn't know how to put a ponytail in someone's hair. He also hair. do mine. He cannot do he it. He barely does it mine. It like looks so crazy. Anyway, so he won't be home um, for a little bit tonight. I don't mind. It'll be fine with Chelsea and Ashley here taking care of me. Um, but I might, should I order pizza for dinner or something? Or have Grandpa pick something up on his way? Huh? For dinner. Because Kaylee and Abby will be gone. Is he coming over? He'll, he'll pick up Abby and bring her home. The problem is I have gift cards for Cafe Rio, Panda, and Subway. Abby has the Subway one, but uh, I'd have to give it to my father-in-law to have him go get. It's easier if I just find food that has delivery. So, I'm just babbling because I don't have any adults to talk to. This one is... Are you going to do some more Legos? Okay. Ashley wants to show you her flowers. I can't lift the camera up. you got to come down lower. So she did this poppy, right? Mm -hmm. That one is fun. And then she did two daisies. daisies. These ones are fun. Can't tell if it's focusing or if I'm... Here, tap the screen. There it goes. All right, there's the daisy. This is just greenery. And then this is the last one she's done. There's one more like this, right? Yeah, I love that for you. Yeah, so I want to do one. I'll be on that one. I wanted to do the purple one. There's another purple one. Then you do that one. I wanted to do that one. Alright, I'm gonna do the leaf. Okay. Um, I didn't film much today. <laughs> He's already home from work. It's eight wow. o'clock. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. So I um ended up starting work on the second video, got the first one done, and then got really tired editing the second one. And I was like, why am I fighting this? I wasn't fighting it for literally like two minutes. I was like, oh, I'm really tired. I'm really tired. And I was like, what am I thinking? I'm supposed to be resting. So I immediately got into bed 
and that was probably at four o'clock and out I slept so well I was it's like that sleep where you're conscious of it's like a Sunday nap you're conscious that your body is like heavy and I was only kind of woken up from like the heat the AC wasn't really keeping the room cool and Jason was texting me I had um, a target pickup for him to get for me um, I just needed a few things and it was just easier to have him grab it than waste the time to go into the store so he went and picked that up and came home and got Abby yeah I think he actually got Abby in time because he was able to get away from work um, so I'm just take more medicine I'm not in any pain still this is more just like a daily log I'm just um, I want to be tired again going to bed and I think I will because I'm still tired sitting here but I'm gonna wait for another couple hours I might actually eat again um, our employee made us the most wonderful spaghetti and homemade spaghetti sauce so I might have some more of that I didn't show that when I was I just had a little bit earlier when Jason got home but I wasn't terribly hungry but I needed to have my medicine with food so I might have him make some of that up for me when he comes back from his run. <clears throat> I'll show that to you because that was very sweet of our employees to, our employee to send that meal home for us. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna get this frog out. But I'm just, it's hard to like not be productive. I think is my hardest thing. I'm just sitting here, but it feels good to sit here to just rest. Um, but it just feels hard to like, Anyway, the videos help me not feel unproductive, I guess. But it, I, like, I need to put the camera down because my my um arm it just it tires my arms out. I'm not supposed to use my arms that much, so um kind of gonna give myself a break for a second here, and then I might finish editing day two and watch some more TV. I'm probably coming up on the last few episodes of Alone. And then we'll see what I get to watch next. So. <sighs> Alright, I'm starting my nightly routine. It involves bringing everything back over to the bed. <laughs> I've got my basket here with my medicine. I've got my <clears throat> list. Every day I kind of just rewrite the... Um, medication list this is actually starting for tomorrow and I put little check boxes um, I don't have to take medicine again until 2 o'clock in the morning for the Tylenol and then breakfast for two more medications so I've got my little setup here and then I've got two pillows for under my under my knees um, and then a pillow that goes on the side of me here which I think we decided yesterday, I'm going to have Jason help me, I think we need to shift me over a little bit more, I'm a little bit more limber to <clears throat> get into the bed because my back doesn't hurt as much. Um, I don't think I need to charge my phone or my watch, let me see my phone, I think they're fine, I'm going to charge it in a minute after I get in bed. Um, I've got that stocked up with water I think, I might refill it, but i got that. Okay, and then Jason's only left with all of his stuff to sleep over there. You can see Ashley's little nest she makes. And we'll see all of her flowers that she's put together so far. I think they're really, really cute. And it's kind of a fun memory that she kind of did this while I was laying here recovering. I think there's only one flower left. I think she's trying to let me do it. <laughs> but I think she really wants to do it herself. Um, but she has a friend coming over to play tomorrow, um, so I think she'll be occupied. I can't wait to um, take a shower and actually be able to put my hair in a ponytail by myself because apparently Ashley doesn't know how to do it either. And I can't wait to wash my hair. I'm going to talk to the doctor tomorrow about whether I can shower and how that all works. So I'm going to try and wash my face, brush my teeth, and then climb into bed. Standing underneath the lights Looking to each other's eyes 
tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets And yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Alright, I'm ready for bed except I need Jason to come up and do my drains. Look how greasy my hair is. Oh. I'm going to try and put dry shampoo in it tomorrow before I go to my appointment. <laughs> but I'm when I get home I'm going to try and see if we can use um, uh, like a bucket or something and wash my hair in the tub. Lean over the tub and have him wash my hair because <clears throat> it's pretty bad. I feel pretty clean. I've been able to like wipe myself off, wipe my pits. I don't feel sweaty. Um, I've been able to wash my face and my chest like as much as I can reach. Um, I'm going to put lotion on my feet because my feet are very dry. Um, and then I think I'm ready for bed. I'm going to watch a little TikTok <laughs> and then um, take some melatonin and fall asleep. Looks like I need to get some more breakfast bars in here for the morning when I take my medicine. Tylenol at 2 in the morning. Um, and then I don't take any more meds until I wake up. So, doing pretty good. And Jason's home tomorrow, which I'm glad. I just want to go to that appointment and understand better what I can do and how I can change. And if I can change the dressings or if I really truly can't shower until next Friday. <laughs> And maybe, maybe what I'll do is like hop in the bath. Maybe that's what I can do. And just like wash my legs, maybe even shave my legs um, without getting any of this wet. Just a very, sh I hate baths, but I am absolutely willing to take a bath to kind of wash the areas that I feel like need to be cleaned. <laughs> um, and then wash my hair separately. That will make me feel like a new woman tomorrow. It'll probably take all of the rest of my energy if I have to take a nap after that, but that's fine. And then <clears throat> I think these clothes are still clean. A little cut on my neck. You see that right there? I don't really know what it is. It's not a zit or anything, but it kind of bled onto my shirt. I don't remember where it was. So it's, they're not dirty. I can wear them again tomorrow. But I might actually try putting on a pair of like biker shorts because these just, they just hike up. <laughs> well, hide the drain. There's stuff in there. Um, I might try and put on some biker shorts and a tank top tomorrow after my appointment, after I kind of get cleaned up because I can lift the tank top, up, tank top up in order for him to do my drains tomorrow night. So I think that'll feel a little bit nicer tomorrow and see if I can get, I don't know, I'm kind of curious to see if I can, what it looks like to wear some of my old tank tops. I am kind of hopeful that I'm gonna need a lot of new clothes. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. My arm is tired, I gotta put the camera down. Okay, I'm in bed, drains are emptied, they're going down in fluid, which is amazing. Actually, I need to do, see if I can do some of this myself here. Hello. Hello. Jason will have to do the last one. I try and get this where I can grab it with my toes to pull it up on me. I like to be cold at night, so yes, the AC is on and I might put a sheet on me. Okay. It's amazing that I can do this by myself today versus yesterday and the day before. Ugh. You're catching the raw of it, people. I'm being as realistic as I can about this whole process. I like to have my pants pulled down, but that requires Jason's help, and you're not gonna watch that. So, one other thing I have had come in handy is this cute little pillow, because if you, you know, like put like your phone down or a chapstick ball, or I got my food and my medicine right here, and turn it that way tonight. But this cute little pillow, when I put it right here, 
it becomes like this little bowl. <laughs> and then I can put like, sometimes it's hard to reach my chapstick ball in here. So I put it right there for the middle of the night when I run, I'll reach up and I want to grab it. And then like, my phone's charging right now, I think. Is my phone charging or did I grab it? Uh, I don't know. Let me go find your phone. No, it's... Over your butt? I don't know where it is, but it's... Let's call it. I know. Grab my watch. Anyway, do? but I normally put my phone on here and my headphones. Watch. You don't know how to do this? No. I'll show Jace. So you swipe up on the watch and then you click on that little vibrating phone button. I'm not oh. sitting on it. <laughs> I'm not sitting on it, it to be fell fair. Over. It's out of reach. It I got it. Over. But go. see, I can put my phone here and it doesn't fall down the crevice. And Ashley has my headphones, but I do set my headphones there too. Ugh. Can you come and pull my pants down? <laughs> oh. What well, every man wants yes, to hear. Yes, what every man wants to hear. Except there's absolutely zero reward in this situation <laughs> only i heard that more often okay you need to scoot up now you just scoot it down all right now that my pants are, and legs are situated <laughs> with zero reward for him unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> a future date um you said you want to buy more legos yeah they're fun huh more they're of the flowers cool. Yeah, Abby said to, so too. She's like, I think we need to order some more. Yeah, we need to order like all of them. I'll look at it tomorrow, okay? That's probably where my school got them from. No, they probably just got them from Legos because they probably had it donated through the PTA. The, her whole front office is filled with all those flowers. Yeah, they also organized. They had every single kind. On the last is this season. uploading or something? Huh? Is this uploading or doing something? No, it's just closed. Can I move it? Yeah, but you could have moved it whether it was uploading or not. Well, I don't want to disturb it. Well, just don't move that that hard drive. Just move the whole shelf over. So just shelf. shift it. Okay, time for you to go to bed. You have a play date tomorrow. Yeah. I need you to go get some sleep, okay? Say goodnight. With that, I'm going to sign off with you guys. Ending night three um i feel like i'm doing fairly well i'm actually quite amazed that i still don't feel any pain here i feel twinges of pain i think my um drain site is kind of getting itchy or irritated which is normal i just it's the only like feeling that i have everything else is just kind of tight um like pressure i have a little bit of itching like right here right down here um but I can take that, no problem. So I'm gonna sign off with you, um, see what the doctor says tomorrow at my appointment, so stay tuned. And thanks for coming along this process with me and let me know if you have any questions. If you're thinking about doing this surgery, I can definitely go into more detail if you have more questions. I'm trying to keep some of the TMI off of YouTube. <laughs> um, but anyway, take care, see you guys next time. Easy, easy on our tip. Oh